Hey, what's up everybody? Frank Valkyria. Welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a special reaction because we are checking what's going on in Brazil. Number one on Spotify, apparently, May 2021. I know that some of my audience in Brazil, when we do newer stuff, get a little bit of twitch eh? in the lower part of the body, in the upper part of the body, that twitch, as long as it's not an intimate central twitch. Fine with me, okay? Otherwise, you have to go to the toilet. I'm just saying. Anyway, we have here Diego and Victor Hugo, Bruno and Maro. How many people? How, how many people made this song? I want to know. Fasas or Facas, Fasas, I assume, live. Let's check this out. Before we go, let's also ask Hey Google, find me Letra, Diego and Victor Hugo. Hey Google, lyrics to Fasas by Diego e Victor Hugo. Here's what I found on the web. All right, I actually found it. Here we go. All right, let's start this together. But to get this, it's necessary. And also, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate that. I really love this woman with that harmonica. Very nice. Okay, first thing first, second, like second, second, first, second. Uh, whatever that comes first i don't know i'm getting confused here okay first thing second second first things uh it's kind of interesting to see like how well trimmed all of them are you know like really like trimmed very neat very nicely polished with the uh, teeth and the eyebrows and the beard and the jacket it's like ah eh, like a lot of effort into the skill the appearance also what i like is actually that um actually quite nice voices quite bright high nice range um i know that every time we talk about uh, well in this case actually this to me sounds much more acoustic uh, a little bit more acoustic folk actually having to do a little bit more with country music uh than uh, than reggaeton um definitely this if it was sang in english sounds like something you know from uh, lower states in the us where country is incredibly popular so nice okay and i also enjoy actually the fact that the guys they look like really normal dudes you know they didn't go pick up like uh, some kind of very absolutely good looking fella to to have a good voice and sing and actually they're good singers like just looking like the average guy walking around, which to me actually makes it even, uh, I, I like that, <laughs> ironically, I like that more personally, because somehow it feels more relatable. And I think might be also the success of this type of music that makes it feel even more relatable. Like the combination of the, probably the words which we're gonna discover in a second, and also the whole package, you know, the look and so on and so forth. <laughs> Sabe que a gente não tem moral pra lidar longe um do outro. Como se duas facas se riscassem procurando corte. São dois corações 
diz pra que é mais só Agora é com vocês Bruno e Marrone, vida mãe Primeiramente guardo suas armas Já me machuca tanto suas palavras <risos> Tô querendo uma conversa civilizada Sei que tá esperando uma crítica Mas eu tô correndo dessa briga Hoje não tem vilão, hoje não tem vítima Não tem plateia, não tem bebida uh, 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 uh. <risos> I love there's a little bit of sentimental tackiness a little bit Uh, and of course, I, I suspect, but I could be definitely wrong. I suspect the lyrics are also going in the, a little bit in that kind of direction, a little bit of a cheesy romance uh, or dealing with, the, you know, kind of love or breakups in a very kind of sentiment, overly sentimental tackiness imbued. Let's put it that way. But again, that's uh, like I said before, this is the power of this type of music. You know, it's kind of simple, straight to the point, maybe with a catchy phrase. You were there, no, no, I don't have, now I, I'm just kidding, what I was trying to say. I had you, now I don't have you anymore. When you were in bed with me, I felt so close to you. And now what is happening? Eh, you're not there any longer. Uh, actually, truth to be told, we all make the mistakes when you write songs very easy to make that kind of tacky sentimental mistake but as long as it is true then it kind of works so it's like you forgiven especially if your intention are in the right place so you can you're allowed to be tacky and sentimental all right let's see if we understand something here oh meu coração se acostumou que de sete em sete dias eu mando um novo porque outro murchou para não do tempo dela me esquecer toda semana eu mando um buquê e vou ter ser de flor minha flor vou ter ser de beijo de amor quero ver se reclamar quero ver se não me amar vou ter em ser de flor minha flor Vou ter ser de beijos de amor. Quero ver se reclamar. Quero ver se não me amar. That definitely, it's very clear to me. Everything. Ah, uh, I don't even know exactly what I said. I kind of registered somewhere some something about sending flowers. Hey, relax, man. <laughs> I love those guys. Desperation, uh, very theatrical, this part of the interpretation. Also actually nice, the three acoustic guitars. I think they're all three acoustics. There's also a bass player. The drum is all the way back there. He's like, all right, I come. It's a gig. They give me some money. I'm showing up. I love when they talk in the middle of the song or around. I mean, this stuff, it's, uh, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes I do have, I have to be honest, I do have difficulties connecting with this type of music because somehow the, the intention to me seems a little bit um, fake. But again, you know, like I, uh, those of you that know me, if you're around on the channel for long, you also know that I'm not a musical snob, a musical snob by any means. I'm totally open to music. 
and I try also to look into whatever makes something work whether it's the lyrics the interpretation the image of the person and it's also out of curiosity to understand the waves of trends you know uh, and of course most of the time you know when it comes to music but in general we are emotional creatures we attach our emotions to things and therefore we create always type of biases in whatever place in whatever song in whatever uh and uh, you know and, and you just like stuff so it also doesn't have to be explained too much i mean if this stuff makes people happy makes people dance uh totally fine with me it's actually interesting to see like uh sort of your average dude um having a good voice and and, and performing quite well you know it's like a little bit uh, uh, against the grain type of uh, entertainment where both uh, the woman or the man the man they don't have necessarily be like a freaking uh, you know uh, cosmopolitan uh, model in order to uh, to convey a message I, actually I, in in this case i really enjoy that you know like uh, like quality i mean now, now i'm, I'm kind of stretching it uh, but content over you know looks so it'd be nice to see maybe other songs uh, the the guys are kind of fun and they also do nice harmonies together uh, i was just curious 200 plus million views it's just a recent song so people must be really enjoying this type of stuff and i also wonder what do you think about it you know how do you feel about these things and also should we check as melhores do sertanejo eh? sertanejo more sertanejo let's do it anyway guys go check also my cover of jeremy from pearl jam that i did yesterday let me know you're coming from here i will really appreciate that i'll see you later you take good care ciao